band here who I've never actually met before, apart from on Instagram, uh, Primitive Soul. Well, they sort themselves out. Maybe they can unmute themselves and uh, turn the cameras on and so on. I will remind you that you are watching the repeat anti-Christmas party, which is this year is uh, live on um, Facebook, as you can see. And we've got bands from across East Anglia and South Wales. And if anybody's got loads of money, they can donate to uh, Care for Calais, Stand Up to Racism, Appeal for Refugees. And for some reason, I don't seem to be appearing on the screen, but that doesn't matter because we have got uh, Primitive Soul. Do you want to try speaking, Primitive Soul? We'll see if we can hear you. Hi. Hi. Hi there. How are you doing? Do you want to introduce yourselves one after the other? Because I feel I know you really well because you're always on my Instagram. But uh, uh, can you, do you want to introduce yourselves one after the other and then uh, we can have some questions? This is Finn. He's lead, he's lead vocals on lead guitar. I'm Gabe. I'm in guitar. Kurt, bass, Liam, drums. And you're all living up um, near Blackwood in uh, around Newport up in uh, South Wales? Yeah, yeah, we all live in yeah, Blackwood area. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, is it flooded up there at the moment? Is there lots of floods? Oh, fun. No, it's in uh, Cambridge apparently it's flooded. In Swansea it's not flooded, but it has been raining quite hard. So how long has the band been going? Uh, like on and off a year from the start, but now we've got like, we, we, you know, we, we didn't really do anything like the first year, but now we're making songs and we're getting into some sort of type of like rhythm. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, we're just starting to gain a following now. So COVID hit at the wrong time because you were just about ready to start gigging and then yeah. you can't gig anymore. No. Yeah, I know, not for a while anyway, you know. Mm. What a shame. But you've managed to record some stuff um, and also the video that you're going to show us in a bit. Uh, how, how have you done the recording? Well, it was a previous recording, it was. Oh, that's what I heard on Instagram, was it, yeah? Yeah. yeah. It was that was you did a cakewalk, I think, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good job. So... I don't think it's just because you live in the same area as them, but I think you're quite influenced by the Manics, which sort of uh, is why yeah. we're not in touch, probably. Uh, who, who would you say your main inspirations are? Uh, or what? No, that's a different question. Why do the Manics appeal to you? Because, yeah, the lyrics, what they're about. And mm. it doesn't help that we're from the same town as them, because people like, you know, just think we're ripping off. Even if we were, you know, like England or Scotland, or, you know, somewhere else in Wales, we'd still be influenced by them. Yeah. It's just, we get a lot that, you know, like, not very possible, but like... Whiplash, really. Yeah, you know, people call us fakes on that, but we just, you know, we know we're not. They did exactly the same to the Manics, didn't they? They said the Manics were ripping the clash off, so you're in good company. Yeah, exactly, yeah. it happens to them, yeah. And it is really good that a band, that young people still feel that the Manics were an inspiration, like Idealistics, who were meant to be playing, but Ali's not well. Get well soon, Ali. Uh, they are really inspired by the Manics as well. Um, they seem to have an appeal across, across ages. Yeah. So if you were to wake up on Christmas morning, even though we've missed Christmas morning, uh, mm -hmm. which band would you like to have seen playing around your Christmas trees? Oh. Probably the Manics, apart from the Manics, maybe. Um, yeah, Joy Division. Or the oh, Club. good choice. Sorry. Sex Pistols. Yeah, Sex Pistols. Quite a few. But like, if you had to pick one, it would probably be like Sex Pistols. Yeah. Yes. Any, anybody else for any more? Any more? Um, the back is being very quiet, but I don't want to pick on anyone at the back of the class. Uh, <laughs> um, well, to pick anyone else, Foo Fighters. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 really against the machine because you know they have a, like a political, you know, political stuff is in the lyrics and they yeah. stand. That's a, that's a good good choice of a uh, good choice of people. Yeah. Um, what else am I going to ask you? Oh, yeah. If you could have one wish about how 2021 would be different from 2020, how, like, how the new normal, when COVID has gone away, is better than the old normal, um, what would you like? What would you say? How would you like the world to be better than it used to be uh, at the start of 2020? Yeah, just better so we can gig. Yeah. Gig. Start you know, going, because you know, gig our, yeah, our opportunities have been you know, lowered now because of COVID, because of the restrictions. So we're getting it harder than bands would have, you know, like five years ago. Yeah, yeah. It's really frustrating, isn't it? I've got bands that work with me in Swansea that were just beginning to get known outside Swansea and then everything's been on hold for a year, nearly. Yeah. It is so sad. So are you using the time to um, do useful things like write songs and uh, practice? And yeah, we're using the time wisely to, you know, just get better. And because we have nothing else to do now, we can just focus on the band, you know? And that's yeah. why, in some way, I know it sounds bad, but lockdown has kind of helped us make songs that put us on the spot. Yeah, um, yeah. Else, but you know, make, about yeah, more yeah. stuff to write about because you know 
what's going on at House Commons now, so it's been hectic, hasn't it? Indeed. So if you were trying to persuade people who are watching you, because you're the only person here I think I haven't actually met, only band I haven't met, and who haven't played a real gig for me, how would you try and convince people who are watching to uh, follow you on Instagram, for instance? Because, you know, for our age as well, you don't see many bands at our age doing what we would do. Making it look like ours. Yeah, yeah. making it look yeah. like ours, you know, looking like ours. Even though we're not dressed as we should right now for, like, thing. But on stage, you know, you know, we don't want to follow, like, indie bands, like, thing, which is nothing wrong with them, but it's just not for us. We want to be something different. Not our type of yeah. music. So are you all still, you're at school, are you still? Yeah, we all, yeah. we just got one more year left, then we're leaving. Yeah. So you're year 11, are you? Oh, year, year 10. 10. Year 10, incredible. Good job. Good job. You don't go to, to Oakdale then, do you? No. Huh? I was wondering if you go to Oakdale where the Mannix went. Yeah. Yeah, well, go to uh, not equipment. Yeah, yeah, so pretty much Oakdale Comp, the one Mannix went to, where, you know, got knocked down. It's gone knocked down. So we go to the newer one, which is called Islong High School, and it's actually like half a mile away from where the old oh, school was. Yeah. And it's built on the Oakdale College site. Really, right? So you're surrounded by history and musical and uh, political and economic. That's all really exciting. I find it really exciting that you're so interested in and uh, making a difference and making a band that's so exciting. Now, we we played the first bit of your video when everyone was coming in, and that got some good reaction on Facebook. I'm now going to play the second track. Well, I don't know what the name is. Yeah. You know, so if you can remember which track was second, and do you want to tell us a little bit about it, um, one of you? Nagasaki is about, you know, bombings. the bombings in Nagasaki Sorry. in World War II and just how, you know, it just took an effect on people. And like, it's it pretty much is. from a perspective of a person who was in it. Right, you know, yeah. So, who writes like. the lyrics? Um, we all do, yeah. really. Yeah. But yeah. I wrote the yeah. one. When we played before the thing, I, I wrote it. I made the last one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how did you record this? Did you record it in a live practice? Yeah, we recorded yeah. like where things start as um, a place where we can jam. Yeah. Or, yeah, the, yeah. It's in an allotment place, so we can just rehearse there. And then when we just make a song, we just film and put it out. So when, when did you record it? What? Like a couple of weeks, weeks ago. ago. So yeah. you did it when between lockdowns. Okay. Well, we're going to watch that now. As I, I, never, I never shared from uh, Instagram before, so we'll see if it works. Uh, if it's too loud or it's too quiet, let me know. And I suppose I should have said, how can people um, keep follow what you're up to? It's Instagram mostly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah Instagram. Instagram. What's the address, if you remember? Primitive. Primitive. Yeah. Oh, our username. Yeah, username, yeah. It's underscore primitive, lowercase p. Yeah. Underscore soul, with an, and then another underscore after soul, and it's a lowercase s for soul. Yes, excellent. Right, um, are you getting some fan mail in here, even from um, younger people and older people? Excellent, a lot of people looking forward to hearing this. Um, here we go, fingers crossed, if Instagram video works. Thank you. 
That was great. That was really, really good. And there is one more track that people can watch on your uh, Instagram, can't they? Yeah. yeah. Instrumental track right at the end. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. instrumental. Where we got it, so yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. And thanks for all the... Uh...